Most people in America are concerned with the illness that is coming across America and somewhat around the globe. The illness is the predatory game. A predatory game is I'm going to interfere with your life and I'm going to make you live your life the way I want you to. It is an illness in a person to want to interfere with someone's life. It's hard for people who do that to hear that because they really want to be in power. They really want to be in control. But in truth, what they're doing is actually giving up their control. They're giving up their power and they're really losing every hour in it. The foolishness of men and their team groups, or their what we like to call their tween groups, because men who do that are really stuck, kind of between ages 10 and 13, where they're still sort of in this feeling of, I am a young person who is required to do what my mom and dad want, and then I'm also this man that's coming into my being by 13, but they never quite get out of that jilted stage of I have to be better than this I have to be more than this I have to do something that will get me adored instead of hated and that's where they failed in their life and then they look at somebody who's successful and they're so motherfucking jealous that they just won't let it go they're so angry about how a person has gone on successfully that they just want to hurt them and it's stupid you know I mean if you're that somewhat impacted by a total stranger then maybe you should just focus on your life and doing things right and doing things better instead of becoming a hater that destroys not only your life but someone else's life who wants nothing in truth to do with you no offense but you chose that path to be that kind of person that people don't really want to do anything with now it's true you might find a few marvelous friends that you can bullshit around with and you can toke with and you can smoke with and you can drink with and you can laugh with but at the end of your life who will be standing there with you will you have a wife of many years that you matured with and grew with and did things with and created memories with or will you be spending all your time talking to yourself alone in your cell room or your room because you failed yourself you decided to give up and attack a life. You decided to be thwarted in life. You decided, I want to be in power over this, and I'm not going to allow this. Well, who gave you that right? Your job is to do your life. But don't play in the shadow world of someone else's life. Don't live in the thrive of, I'm going to take all this away from you because you don't deserve it mode. Because... No matter what you think, no matter what you believe, and I'm guessing based on that attitude, you can't even conceive of what God is. But what you are doing is moving yourself into darkness that is not going to help your life one bit. It's actually going to make you be, appear more, not humble, but ridiculous to most people that has an education that's different than yours, that's higher than yours, and that's more affluent than yours. Because... You can think that you're the smartest little shit in the world because you're lying and people are believing you, but that's your perception. Your perception is someone who's more intelligent than you and truly more experienced in you than you in life is actually believing you. And that's often the funny part of you because they might be being polite, they might be acknowledging what you're saying, they might be enjoying the story, but I guarantee they know the ground that you're laying. You're laying this groundwork of, I'm equal to you, I'm better than you, I know what to do, I'm everywhere, I'm every man, I'm almost Superman. But what they see of you and what they observe of you is a stunted growth man. A man who hasn't quite matured enough to not try to steal things from people in the night or put their hands on them to fondle them or put their hands down their pants to see, is he as big as me? And in that regard, you might be a fag. But the truth is, and I'm not saying that gay people do that, I'm just saying it's a really weird idea of thinking you're going to use some old-style power concept of manhood to do that. Because in this year of 2021, we don't do that. You see, in your life, you spent your time smoking. You spent your time partying. You spent your time ruining your brain cells. But you still think you're smarter than everyone else. You pick up on somebody's story and you just start to play it back to them. 
not for anybody's glory but your own, but the people who have God in them are just going, sure, whatever. Keep talking, brother. You're so full of shit, I don't want to listen to it, but I'm going to be polite because I don't need any more crap from you than I'm already getting. 